Howdy friends, Ben Cohen here from Small House Farm, and today we're going to harvest some nettles. Nettles is such a useful plant, I recommend it to everybody to forage and gather this useful herb. Uh, now, as a young green, when we harvest it young like this, we can cook it up and use it like a wild spinach uh, in stir fries and soups and that sort of thing. The stem of the plant is incredibly fibrous and can be actually made into ropes, just like you would with hemp. And uh, in the apothecary, it uh, can be used for arthritis, joint pain, any kind of inflammation issues. Uh, stinging nettles is a wonderful plant, and uh, we're going to harvest some today, take it on back to the homestead. All right, here she is. This is Urtica dioica, the stinging nettle. Now, when we're harvesting this plant, we're probably going to want to wear some gloves, long pants, you know, some covering like that. Um, as you can see up close here, along the, the stem and the underside of the leaves, there's these fine hairs, these trichomes, which are tipped with histamines and formic acid and things like that. Very similar to an ant bite. So when you rub up against this, it's definitely going to sting. And some folks that are quite sensitive to it, it'll actually swell up and get red. Um, if you've harvested nettles as much as I have, you actually come to enjoy that feeling. But when you're new at it, uh, definitely want to wear some gloves as you work. Now, when you're harvesting your nettles, you want to make sure that you snip it right here, right above the leaf node. This will ensure that the plant will be able to grow back again, uh, which is a nice sustainable way to harvest. We've been harvesting out of this patch here for, I bet, about a half a dozen years now. And as long as we continue to, to harvest sustainably, it'll be here for years to come. Now, you notice if you look around, uh, you see it's kind of a wetland here. Nettles like to grow in wetter soil, uh, typically on the edge of a forest, um, where the forest meets the field in a way. All right. So uh, here's our nettles harvest right now. So we're gonna get this bundled up and take it on back to the homestead. So now it's been a couple of weeks since our nettles harvest and we put our plants out on screens to dry. We got them nice and dry here as you can see. Look at that, still got that beautiful vibrant deep green color. Looks really, really good. Now once our nettles are dry like this, we don't have to worry about the sting anymore. Um, the, the drying process dissipates that stinging action so they're perfectly safe to handle barehanded. You know, and that's true too when you cook your nettles. When they're exposed to heat, that also dissipates that formic acid and such which makes them perfectly safe to consume. So now what we're doing here is we're really just stripping the leaves off the stems by hand. It's going to make it a lot easier to store throughout the winter. Uh, they'll take up a lot less space. That's a pretty quick process. We'll get this done in no time. And then we're going to have lots of beautiful nettles. This is going to last us all through the wintertime. 